What's up everyone? John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo here and you are looking at a very crude angle of a iPad 2 on the Verizon network or at least it should be on the Verizon network. Uh, from day one with my Verizon iPad 2 I have had connection issues. I thought this was going to be just unique to my particular iPad 2 but there have been many reports coming out that this is a widespread problem with Verizon iPad 2 customers. I'm going to go ahead and show you what happens. This is not the case if you have an AT&T or if you're outside of the US, the GSM version, the iPad 2, just the CDMA variety. When you turn on the cellular data, it doesn't connect. You actually have to reboot the device a lot of times in order to get that cellular data to hook up. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in quite a bit. I'll show you the upper left-hand corner so you can see right now we're connected to just Wi-Fi. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the cellular data right now. So we'll go ahead and jump into cellular data. Now oftentimes the fix, at least I thought the fix was going to be, uh, would just turn on airplane mode on and off, but that did not work unfortunately. So we'll go ahead and turn cellular data on. And ordinarily you'd see the Verizon logo pop up right there, or if this was the AT&T version, you'd show it pop up. Uh, but you'll notice nothing is showing up at all. And this is all in real time. And I'll show once again that the cellular data is turned on and it's not working. Uh, Boy Genius has said they've gotten their hands on an early build of OS 4.3.2 uh, which supposedly fixes this problem which as it stands right now the only way to fix is to turn it off. So a lot of people have said well, what about airplane mode as I mentioned doesn't work. Let me go ahead and at least just show you. So airplane mode is now turned on. Let's go ahead and turn airplane mode off and ordinarily this is where you'd see the Verizon network hook up and you're going to be left with this searching for many, many, many minutes. I've left it for up to 20, 25 minutes, uh, and you still just keep getting that searching, searching, searching. Uh, and unfortunately, will not find the network here. Uh, I can leave this on and let you guys see. I can put the footage at the end, uh, but this is going to just keep on searching. Uh, so if you want to get this to work, at least with the most current version of the software, which is 4.3.2.1, uh, or really any version of 4.3 that came with the iPad 2. The only solution right now, you can see it's still searching, it most definitely should have uh, found the network by now, is to turn off your iPad 2. And I'll do all this for you in real time. Go ahead and turn off. All right, so it is powered off. Let's turn it back on. And now I'll be connected to the Verizon network. I thought this was something that was just unique to my iPad, uh, but evidently there are many users out there. I haven't seen a video of this being demonstrated, and I wanted to share it with you. As you guys were deciding which iPad might be right for you, Apple is claiming there's a software fix coming. Uh, I've been very happy with the speeds on the Verizon uh, iPad using the Verizon network. However, this has been a huge inconvenience, something you might want to consider, or at least wait to purchase until you know that the software fix does address the issue. So it's booting up, and there we have it connected to the Verizon network. Kind of interesting. Uh, anyway, guys, I am John Rettinger from Techno Buffalo, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.